Optimized rat brute? Yes. <laughs> we'll play optimized rat brute. Already pulled it? The answer is pizza? Oh, shit. Wait, where's the poll? I don't even see this. I see nothing but ones, basically, so it is definitely run it back with rat birds. Let's do it. Alright, so all we care about is getting one hero sword and four short bows. And food. Food is great, too. And we do probably want, like, three bananas. Maybe more. We could put the bananas next to the backs of the treats. And that way we can get some ramping speed on it if we care about that during the combat. Probably it's always going to be the carrots, though. So we're probably always trying to play at least three bananas. That will make us stam neutral. Or just two. Now have stam sacks. Sounds good. Ideally, we're hitting... They buff carrot? Nah. It's just, like, that board's just giga ramp. So... It's just a reason to play it. It's very, very slow. Technically, it's like semi-buffed by the fact that uh, this thing gives ramping speed to the food. So it's like quite a lot better at helping you ramp than it would be otherwise, but yeah. Also, I agree with Headache <laughs> about the sheepies. <laughs> Completely agree with that statement. Okay, we found exactly short bow. I do think we really, really, really would like to see uh, a whetstone than something else here. I think we're just going to lock that for next turn. The rock is actually pretty good on turn 1, right? Hmm. I guess all this is just better than having the banana on the board, probably. Maybe the coal is worse than a banana? Probably not, though. I don't know. I guess we're just floating, too. Okay. It's basically not possible to hit anything good, other than, like, a sail whetstone. Thankfully, our opponent has no items on their board. Else one does. <laughs> <laughs> I do know what you're talking about, Kiri, yeah. That is exactly how I feel about Silver as well. <laughs> it's very much that energy. Oh, it's Lapshot. It is wonderful. Uh, I'm sure you're asking because of the access release today, but if you don't know, that also released today. I feel like we're supposed to not buy this, and we're supposed to just roll for Whetstone. Oh, wait, we only need two, though. We don't have to do something like that. Let's just buy a pig. How about that? We also can just make lucky pigs, because we don't have to have anything else at all. It just doesn't matter. We don't care if we have Fortuna soaps or not. Okay. This might be close to the worst board of all time, just saying. Since we did not hit Whetstone or Bow, but looks like it does not matter if you crits. Feels good, man. Strongest new build, it is uh, this thing. Please play this and get it nerfed immediately. You play two of these. Two of these plus Chili Goob. That is strongest new thing you can play. Also, do not play this one, it is bugged. It does not gain heat on hits. Holy moly, thanks so much for the 10 gift subs around the mine. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Nice gift from the Marty, James the Game, Slotly Auto, Artifacts, Two Beers, Jiggles, Iberus, and Roman Tech. Thank you so much. Much appreciated. Much love. If you would like to request a build for me to try and play, I'd be happy to do so. Happy to take any requests you got. Alright, we are for sure doing this. I want to play the most broken one. <laughs> Just Tyrell? I think you did slightly out of here. That is correct. Well, we have even more free space. We're going to try and hit a Whetstone instead. I really like this, though. I think we'll just take this, probably. Hmm. It is so much better if we get the whetstone this turn. Oh, we don't want to make this, by the way. It's, like, probably actively harmful, because Draconic Core beats spikes, so we don't want to jun spikes. Yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll just stop. It's fine. Okay. This guy's got dragon skill already, but he has no weapons, so he probably just dies. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe he just is Berserker. He kind of just is Berserker, huh? Yeah, understandable. Ah, that's sad. That's definitely a hit the West End duff. Okay, we hit the West End. Feels good, man. Alright, one more bow, please. We have hit three 2 by 2s on sale so far. Interesting. Hmm. This game really wants to be Space Ranger? It most certainly does. It keeps offering me space every single turn on sale. I'm kind of not complaining, but I would prefer if it offered me, like, bows instead. That'd be nice. 
Our class specialties these days? Do you mean like subclasses? If you would like uh, to see what the new subclasses are on offer, I made a video showcasing some builds of them and also explaining what they do. If you want to check that out. Alright, we got more bows. Perfect. Do technically have more tusks. Man, I wish I knew about Rat Brute when I made that video. Rat Brute is the funniest shit ever. I fucking love Rat Brute. I would have loved to have put Rat Brute in there. I put Oops All Bows in there. How's the release? It's absolutely worth buying. It costs like 11 bucks or something if you own Spire or Vertato and stuff. It costs like 12 bucks if you don't. And also there's bundles for those games too if you don't. Yeah, thanks. I, I genuinely do not want to make this. Ever. <laughs> It's actually just actively harmful, bizarrely enough. So, thanks. You know, check if it's the correct flask, you just upload it, you just upload it. It's fine. <laughs> I'm sure it's correct, smile. <laughs> I mean, you got a link to the bundle? It should be on Steam. So it should be easy to find, assumably. should just be like, click on the uh, page. Let me go see. Let me see if it's there. What do we got? Yeah, it's on Steam. Here you go. If you just scroll down. So the Spire Botato. Those are the two bundles that are on offer. It's got Slay the Spire in the middle too. Absolutely it does. If you're having trouble with like clicking in the game, maybe switching your um I don't know what you wouldn't call it, like, the view mode, I guess. Like, you switch to, like, borderless or, like, full screen or whatever. Maybe that might help. I kind of want to buy the drums. Oh, yeah, I guess we can make like the pig. Sure. Save some space. I don't want to buy this. I think we're not supposed to. I think we're just supposed to roll for more bow and steelbert and banana. Third banana is ideal. More food is also ideal. Don't know if I'm really willing to buy a carrot. Definitely willing to buy a banana, though. Here is maybe not horrible. It is just food star, right? I don't know. Could always just sell the tusks. Really don't need them. Not even close to necessary to have. Man, carrot is just so terrible though against the current set of classes. Like nobody has the debuffs except Reaper, right? So, like there may be some blind, but I don't think it's enough to buy carrot. I think we just skip it. Blueberry is fine. <gasps> Carrot, not horrible. Who are you? What did you do with time? I mean, we're playing a quadruple weapon bird, right? So Carrot is not that bad in a quadruple weapon. <laughs> I agree there. <laughs> Let me just sell Tusk for luck. And roll one last time. Okay, we got Bo. Uh, if we want to lock a carrot, we could do that, I guess. We have three luck. It's probably not a lock a carrot angle. It's probably just a buy a stamp stack angle. This guy's name is Subnautica. Wonderful game. I thought for a second we might actually be beating this guy. And then it was just not even a little bit close. But, you know, that's what happens when he has 40 more max HP than we do. That does make sense. Alright, uh, our board is not very hinged. It's not very hinged at all. We did have Fire Sword, yeah. We did deal more damage, they just simply have more max HP. That is true. Want to buy Gibrits. Earth to Gibrits. Please come home, brother. We miss you. Okay, chat, I think we might just be dubbed, because we can't find Gibrit. That is not a good thing to not find. That's kind of like not a viable thing to not find. <laughs> we can't just not find Gibrits. Okay, we'll definitely take the one gold garlic. I guess since we don't have Gibri yet, we're gonna buy more bananas. Man, imagine if you have a Gibrit in this board. It'd be super hard winning. But instead, our Sam is sad and we are also sad. Hello? 
I really, really, really want to buy that crit. L1 Holy Ghost, yes indeed. We are trying to play Ratbert. Imagine they didn't have plus 50% max HP early game. In some cases, it's even like plus 100% max HP, right? It's just really gross. Oh, here's a song for you. Mega Locacious. Wonderful name, by the way. Did you hear Ratbert's? You did indeed hear Ratbert's. <laughs> That is indeed the case. We are playing Rabbit. I don't know, man. Am I really buying this? We have four clovers. I don't think I can buy it. I think I just have to say no. Please. Give me Gabriel, man. I almost want to buy the banana. We definitely do not need it once we get the Gabriel, though. What is this class item? Is what is Rabbit? You'll see momentarily, assuming we actually hit Gabriel. If we don't ever hit Gabriel, we're just gonna die, but, you know, it is what it is. If you can't hit one rare for the whole game, you probably just deserve to die. Probably a skill issue. Pig effects to feed bull chance, need more triggers. Wait, what do you mean? Pig effects food bull chance. Is pig a pet? Pig is not a pet, if that's what you mean. That's also not food. So I don't know what it could mean. <laughs> well, we have a, a, a rat, I guess. Increase the chance to double trigger? Oh shit, you mean Lucky Pig on this. Oh god. Wow, you're right. Holy fuck. You're so right. Yes. Five head. Excellent point. Campaign okay. HP reaching over the max cap. Can it? I didn't know that. Alright, unsurprisingly, our board is trash. Because we do not have a Gubert. Hmm. Probably we were meant to get a Gabriel at some point. Any Gabriels? Think Donk? Oh my god, we hit Gabriel. It only took nine turns. I'm really not sure what we're doing with this Gabriel. Like, positioning wise for this turn. I guess it's just something like this. Yeah, if only we had the key piece of the board that makes everything else function. If only we had our, our extremely hard to find rare. It ain't rare for nothing, I guess. This thing does trigger, technically. We have an almost max trigger rat. That's pretty good. Making Stilbert? Yes. We are, in fact, intentionally making Stilbert. That is the premise of Ratbert. Is Stilbert. Rats trigger Stilbert many, many, many times, and then we play four bows. Okay, technically we could put this on the thingy somehow. I don't really know how that's happening, so we're going to pretend that's not real. So what do rats do? Uh, mostly they don't do anything other than trigger a lot of times. However, they also incidentally deal about 5 DPS each with max triggers. But it's like a one-ish second trigger. It's just, like, absurdly fast. Way faster than it has any right to be. With the food bill giving it 30% trigger chance. So, essentially, just like OG Stilbert Trumpet with Bag of Rocks and shit, we are simply abusing broken speed triggers to make Stilberts do many OP things, essentially. In short, speed good. Not speed bad. Get speed. Ah, of course. We would find a, a 3 gold Gibbert right after we have not found Gibbert for 9 turns. Makes sense to me. Uh, this is actively harmful. Unlucky. Game is literally trolling. It's it's point one odd to find another Gibbert. We found the fucking Gibbert on sale. It's trolling insanely hard. All right, we can get rid of some of these bananas. So we have a bit more space than we seem like we have here. Somehow we're just winning, even though he has axe. I don't know. Maybe like the rat is good. Shrug. Seems like we did really good though. What's our healing looking like? Also, here's the rat speed. As you can see, it's a 1.3 second trigger that has a 30% chance to trigger twice. Also, the Gubert has a 30% chance to trigger twice because it's also a pet. And it's about to be 35% with Lucky Pig. Or maybe more Lucky Pigs. We'll see. Either way, it's quite good. So, basically we do this. Put bows on all the diamonds. 
and then all these stars are rats or squirrels. I think ideally you just have two of each. Was Warper good in this or no? Uh, so it could be, right? Because it's also a pet, so you can get 30% trigger speed. I don't think it's very good, but it could be. If we got like a sale Warper, we wouldn't say no right now, probably. In general, though, I think it's like pretty whatever. Because we can just play three bananas and we have no stand problems, so we don't really care about that part. Three bananas is more than acceptable. Yeah, Wolper's just too expensive. You can't count on having a ton of buffs, so you can't really just reliably use him for Stamjon. Alright, one of these we can for sure sell, because we have 1.6 Stam Gen and we consume about 1.7-ish. We have 7 max Stam. It's fine. But I think we want to play around Moon Shields or something, we could keep an extra banana. We don't have to sell it at all, it just is a trigger for the rats and stuff, so... I'm super down to just keep it. There is second Lucky Pig, which does matter a lot for this bowl of food. It's very good. So I think we're probably down to make that. We do really want a food over here. So maybe we're not getting the Lucky Pig on the thing this turn. Perhaps. Maybe we are? I don't know. Is there a way? I mean, this works, I guess, right? What's wrong with us? Can't make Lucky Pigs the problem? I suppose so. It's fine. We can do that. More Blueberry is really good, I think. We do not need more bows. Okay. We do Peanut DPS at first. But once we get, like, two more pets, we're gonna do great. I guess speedrun? Hello, so tall. We have played way too many classes and done way too much yapping. However, we're speedrunning in terms of games played to master. Not time spent, but games played. That's a W. Alright, we now have, like, 40% chance to trigger twice, I think. Something like that. It's pretty good. Also, we're doing too much class rotation. <laughs> if I just played the same class over and over, then it'd be a lot better. I feel like the DPS can be really high this time. For sure. Okay, we got more rats. Massive. So the question is, do we keep the bowl of food here, or do we move it somewhere? It doesn't ever trigger faster, right? So it's just a four-second trigger. Just ask, yeah. We do know that the streamer clients is always in effect, right? So it's very important that chat discusses the items that we're looking for so that the gamer reads the text in chat and spawns them in. It's very important detail. Forbidden info makes you not want to since you'll be busy with stuff. Are you perhaps referring to decompile info? Because you're, you're allowed to talk about that here, if that's what you're referring to. There is another Gibbert. That is true. Oh, Fable stuff? Oh, I see. I got you. Alright, we have Squirrel. We have Squirrel and two rats. I think it's a pet. It is not a pet now. No proofs. Cannot make trick pigs trigger more times, unfortunately. Uh, also, I guess if we move the bowl treat somewhere else and just have... Well, I don't know. Is that true? I don't think it's true, is it? Yeah, I think there's a way to get this last trigger here, is there? I don't think there's an orientation that would ever work where you're not losing at least one star. This works, though. And the carrot is very decent. Could even just play Stam Pots. I don't think I really want to do that, though. I'd rather make sure that I cannot lose to, like, a Fatigue Berserker or something. <laughs> We're on the level of thinking about this, that kind of thing, you know? We're not really worried about traditional boards, I don't think. It took 28 years to get to this point, but now that we're here. Man, the amount of EHP we have is very impressive. <laughs> I love how rat is top DPS. <laughs> oh my god. 
<laughs> so dumb. Why is the rat out DPSing everything? <laughs> Fucking rat jam, dude. Good god. He's doing got a good rat jam song for us. I don't know a good rat jam. We clearly need one though. Holy fuck. Oh my god, we got more rats! Let's go! <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. Inject this shit straight into my veins. Rat jam. Holy fuck. <laughs> this board is cooking so hard. It's so dumb, too. It doesn't make any sense why it would work, but it just does. This might be your favorite OP board, me too. Me too, 100%. Okay, this might be slightly better, but it's okay. New mic? Uh, actually it's the same mic, but I am now much closer. It's a condenser mic, so it's very important that I'm close to it. And I finally got a mic arm, so now I'm like two inches away from the mic, so it sounds substantially better. Crazy, right? Dude, holy shits. The bows are popping the fuck off. 58 damage short bow hits. Holy moly, dude. That's what I'm talking about. Fatigue Brute, man. Fatigue Brute is cooking. And also, to answer the question, if anyone wanted to know about like the, the pets and Silbert and stuff, like switching these out, these are ironically the best possible thing we can play because it costs the least amount of stamina and costs the least amount of gold and is ranged and has a good cooldown. So... Yeah, uh, these cannot trigger diamonds on Stilbert. That's why we're not using rats. If we could use rats, we would, but we cannot do it. Rats would be way better than short bows, but we cannot do rats. They are not weapons, so they cannot be diamonded, as you can see. Alright, so we definitely want this. So these have crits. Killed your board in five seconds? Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. <laughs> You're playing the fucking broken board. It does not stand it to 100 DPS. That is for sure. Rats are not weapons. Yeah, that is a bold statement, isn't it? Rats don't have gem slots. That'd be kind of fucked up if they did, no? Why would a rat have a gem slot? <laughs> One gold garlic scrape. Got a three gold squirrel. I'm kind of down, because it's really, really good for a Spyro, right? I think we're down to just play an extra Squirrel. I think we want as many rats on Stilbert as possible, but I'm down to just play random Squirrels. Or two random Squirrels, at least. Okay. Dark Lantern Reincarnation stacks Phoenix Reincarnation, and you're on board with that now? Yeah, it does work. Yeah. For sure works. We absolutely deleted this guy. Hello? Ready to go. <laughs> Hello? Huh. That's neat. We have one luck. Why do we have one luck? Where'd my luck go? Is it Jinx? I guess that's where my luck went. Yeah, I agree, Mal. For sure. Squirrel is so-so sometimes, but the times where it's insane, Squirrel just like wins you the fight by itself, right? And it's not that expensive, so... I feel like I'm pretty down. It's also just a trigger for other pets, right? It's just very efficient in that way. Got more acorn, that is great. So what do we do with that actually? Huh. It's actually really hard to give a set of bows to Saquorn. Or it's not that hard, right? But it, it costs a trigger. Huh. I still think it's worth it. Wait, actually, is it a turn the board sideways angle? Does that work? How tall is this? This is definitely three. This is two. This is. Definitely also at least three. It's too tall, right? Yeah, it's too tall. Okay. This is the best way to have it, I guess. Or the squirrel side bow? Well, right, but like... The point is we lose triggers, right? That's always the problem. We're already losing triggers to play the bows, which I think is fine to lose one or two triggers to do it. I also think it's fine to lose a little bit of crit to do this as well. It's just worse than... Worse than it might be. That's fine. It's still very worth doing. Ain't no way you don't want crit. Want to pay some money at the people? No, they changed it. It has two stars now. Both are. It's a top and a forward star. There is more rats. Rat fucking jam. Let's go. 
Can we even play this route? We can't this turn, right? We can do it next turn, though. God, what a silly board. <laughs> Three's in the second instance of crit. Uh, this better the top bows than the bottom ones. Well, the bottom ones have a amulet, and this one has acorn bag, right? Or ranger bag, which is worse than acorn pennant, so that's why it's better on the top. Because ranger bag is by default worse, since it's... 3% per luck now, and 10% base. Uh, I bet like we cared about this for a reason, right? We care about it starting luck, I'm pretty sure. I will say I really don't know how we're going to fit this route in the board, but it is just a much better silver trigger than the squirrel, so we'll make any sacrifices we need to. Pretty good deeps. How do you defend? Uh, we defend by not having spent nine rounds looking for Gibberts. <laughs> we also just trigger Gibbert insanely fucking fast, so we stack a fuckload of block. That's mostly what we're doing. We can actually check that now, right? We can see how much block we generated. Yeah. Generated 80 block in seven seconds. That's decent. All right, so what is happening with this? A uh, blueberry is sitting here. I am unsure. I guess this all wants to go down one space, maybe? Maybe not, though. The fact that squirrels can be stars to the rats is really nice. Big fan of that. Okay, I think maybe it is... I don't know. We need shenanigans. That's all I know. <laughs> Too lazy to Google or check the wiki? What's new? Everything. That is all I can tell you. <laughs> Just everything. This is quite literally too much to explain, but if you would like a video, then here's a video for you. There is too many shenanigans in this board shop. If we just roll into Blueberry, life is very easy. If we don't simply roll into Blueberry, <laughs> then I don't know what's happening. Oh, wait, actually, isn't Banana best here? It is, right? Oh, no, no, it's wasting two stars. Right, 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 right. Where the hell is my Blueberry Mountain? I mean, you want to get some over here? Pog. Well, technically, it's better over here because it ramps permanently, right? Okay. So we have solved the squirrel, we solved the rats, we solved almost second rats, so we need another blueberry. I uh, definitely don't have another blueberry. <laughs> that was my only blueberry. And this squirrel cannot be any better? Can it be better? Maybe like this thing can be better? He has five stars available that way. If this is exactly blueberry, then it could be better. This also has to be exactly blueberry. God. The number of blueberries we need is way too high. I'll buy the Gucci because there's no other way to fix our space. I see cap, I buy cap. This is actively harmful. This is useless. Okay, we buy cap. In theory, the cap could also get pigged. It's okay though. We'll pretend that's not real. Found even more rats. Actually, might be good. It's a five second cooldown, so it's just too slow. <laughs> Great question, Gotti. Great question. I would like to know as well. It kind of shreds. Wait, why the fuck does this dude have five spike shields? Hold the fucking phone. Brother, why do you have five spike shields? <laughs> Who hurt you? 
Please point on the shield where the ranger hurt you. <laughs> what the hell? This is the average cell ranger bag enjoyer. Also still gave us 12 block per second. Seems good. That seems fair. I have 8 billion instances of damage. Seems great. <laughs> uh, everyone's playing the bows and the dragons. This dude's like a spike shield. I think so, DJ Roboy. <laughs> Hello. Good to see you. I think the goal was to hurt my mental by playing that board. <laughs> Technically, there is a Warbird Thinger. Legally, it is a pet. In actuality, we have no space to do anything at all, so... It probably is not a pet. I really wish Pig was a pet. That'd be nice. Because in theory, we could be, like, making extra space over here to accommodate the squirrels. We could just lose one Pig on this. I don't know. I mean, the Pig is better than the one Rat Trigger anyways, right? There's definitely no argument for that. So I feel like the better thing we could do is just this. We can get more triggers than our squirrels and make it more reasonable to obtain this without having 8 billion blueberries. We do need to fit this banana back in. What pretend could replace a whole banana? Doesn't seem worthwhile. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Replaces an entire banana. Crazy. To that, I say XD. I guess we're buying this. Shrug, I think. Yeah, right? Do this. Yeah, perfect. Literally perfect. All right, we've we solved the puzzle. It's fixed. Everything is all according to plan. You don't want a banana that requires more space? Oddly enough, I do not. I'm sure many of you may find that disturbing, but in fact, we do not want a banana that requires more space rather than less space. Having said that, I am buying more another banana. I see cap, I buy cap, maybe? Sure. This guy has got friendly fire. He had a one second wolf it, really. That is sick. Yeah. Seems great. We yoink all his buffs. We do a trillion deeps. And we infinitely scale. Wait. Oh, wait, he's got fucking Ruby Chonk. Oh, holy shit. I didn't even process this. This motherfucker's got present Ruby Chunk Pyromancer on day one. Holy shits. Most like a Giga Chad. Wow, we. Turns out Ruby Chunk is probably a pretty good item on Pyro, unless all your heat's getting yoinked by squirrels. My heat now. Rat fucking jam. Also, we have two caps for some res if we ever got to the heat threshold. Still loses to Rat, yep. <laughs> he removes them with Reby Vault. Rat gang too strong. Imagine a present give you class items? I know, right? Wouldn't that be so insane? Imagine it just gives you a Dark Lantern. That'd be like the best thing you could ever get from your class item <laughs> presents. <laughs> Got two presents today, holy shit. Are you playing Mega Clover by chance? Or are you just like rolling present twice? We'll take a garlic. Dude, I don't even have a place to put... There's no room to put a cap on this board. Hello? I would like to follow complaints. I do not have room for my cap. I need to speak with the manager. What do you mean we don't have room for a cap? We don't have room for anything. Hello? We got another fucking wolf finger. God damn it. <laughs> Why is it always a Warper Tinger, man? Fuck me. Okay, we have a crystal for our cap. Perfect. A crystal for my cap that I most definitely cannot get on my cap. Nice. I have not even the first clue how we would get this on here. I guess it involves yoinking a blueberry from somewhere. 
Jesus Christ. This is a nightmare. Literally the entire board is full. And you want me to put a fucking crystal in a cap? Just put the crystal on the cap? Okay, you know what? You're right. Good fucking points. Good shit. You are definitely right. Fuck that. I'll just put the crystal in the cap and call it a day. <laughs> Fuck this. That is a way better idea than what I was going to do. This board is, in fact, a rat's nest. Literally. Dude, we kind of shred. We shred extremely hard. We just do amazing DPS. And also have 16 block per second. Which is kind of good. You could say. <laughs> yeah, nice crown, idiot. Sure would be a shame if you were stuck with 9 mana and got squirreled. My mana now. Rat jam. How fast is the rat? The rats are giga fast, dude. The rats are 1.3 on the fastest one that actually has full stars. And the rats also have 39% chance to trigger twice. So, including Steel Gibbet, right? He has also 40% chance to trigger twice. Imagine if we could somehow fit a Valor in this board. Bro is a rattling gun. Oh my god. How dare you utter that phrase. Rattling gun. I dislike that so much, but you're so right. <laughs> you can trigger Gebert twice? Yes, Gebert is a pet, and this triggers pets twice. I did not figure that out either until, like, after the first run. I was like, holy fuck, he's a pet. Oh my god. Because he stars the rats, right? So obviously he's a pet, but, like, it doesn't really click that he's just also a pet for this, but he is a pet, so, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's pretty good. Seems great. Seems fairly powerful. Ratbert seems really good. This is definitely one of the better ranger things you could be doing. It does have very specific pathing to do exactly this, but it's not that hard to get reasonable things to put here. Like, you're perfectly fine just playing a Steelbert and a bunch of fucking animals, and it's just good, I think. I don't think it's actually having to be exactly for or something. I do think the Falcon version was insanely underwhelming, but also this is just better, so it doesn't actually matter. This is just way better. <laughs> Tiny bows do cheap, yeah, that's the best part of the build, right? These bows only cost 6 gold if they include the space cost. It's 4 gold for the item and 2 for the space. They're ridiculously cheap. What a bizarre fucking board. And we could even have more lucky pigs in that bowl too, right? We could have even higher chance. Imagine if they had never nerfed lucky pig and gave it 2 stars. We could have like a 45 or even 50% chance bowl. <laughs> yeah, right, Artemis? Uh. <laughs> Can bowl and rats make carrot gib good again? Oh, definitely not. This thing is a million times better than carrot gib. Carrot gib is never very good to begin with. It was just like a burst board, so it, it looked it looked a lot better than it was. It was like a very, very, very glass cannon burst board that had an awful pathing. I don't know what we could even possibly hit that we can play. Like, nothing is playable. We can't put anything in the board. We can get like fucking crystals, and that's it. I guess technically we could like drop a luck to play a second crit on one bow or some shit. Can you even buy anything to make this better? I don't think so. I think it's just impossible. Nothing is viable. What? Literally the board is full. We could buy like a blueberry or something. I don't know. Definitely not what's showing up in the shop, that's for sure. Oh yeah, I guess we could play Hedgehog or Carrot maybe. That would have been the play, huh? Play another pet. Well, we absolutely dunked on this nerd. Goodbye, friends. He is playing the worst Bloodbird of all time. Understandable. This Phoenix looks really sick with all the fire. So cool. I love the aesthetic of Pirate Boards so much. Did he just, like, accidentally turn his Gibbard or something? Like, his activator's on this side now. I don't understand. <laughs> surely it's a mistake. Like, it is a mistake, but surely it was an unintentional mistake. Oh, he had something other than aesthetics? Yeah. <laughs> He did deal damage to me, but that's about all he did. What's our block looking like? 17 per second. Holy fuck. That is just gross. Like, how many goob triggers per second is this? This is more than one goob trigger per second. Right? Wait, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> Sorry, it's not more than one per second. That's not the case. It is, it's good, but it's not that good. It's close to being that good. It's really close. That is a lot of fucking block. Or wait, is it more than one? Oh, wait, no, it is, because it's more than 16 block per second. Yeah, it's literally more than one. Holy fuck. 
Okay, this board fucks. Is the power play style really just lighting on your space on fire? Kind of. She do be doing that. The 17 is in fact greater than the 16, that is true. Yeah, it's definitely because of the 39% chance to double, for sure. Doubling on the rats, which doubles the goob trigger received, and then the goob doubles, and then, you know, it just, it fucking, it does the thing. It's great. It's good shit. Ratbert OP. Ratbert definitely one of the probably not immediately getting nerfed high tier things we've played today. I don't think Ratbird is like needs nerf tier. It's strong. Strong and reliable. That's cool. Cool and good. Do some dragon pyro? I would love to. Sounds wonderful. Yeah, Ratbird seems strong, but Ratbird is not like broken. The pyro stuff is broken, but Ratbird is not broken. Ratbird is just strong.